Good morning, guys. It is 7.13 a.m. Uh, we're just leaving this Walmart here in Henderson, Kentucky. And we got about 13 miles over to uh, where we're picking up. And it is a cold morning. down to about 8 last night. Now it's warmed up. We're up at 13 right now. Had a good night's sleep last night. Yeah, hopefully they don't take too long to load us over here. We got about 400 miles up to the uh, shop in uh, Wadsworth, Ohio after we pick up that we're going in there tonight and parking and my mechanic he's gonna take a look at my air leak here first thing tomorrow morning So he'll look at that tomorrow morning, and uh, then we got about 400 miles over to where I'm going to drop. And this has to be dropped by uh, midnight tomorrow night in Conklin, New York. And then, uh, then I'll be going right home from there. I'm about, ooh, I think, 80, 80 miles from home there, something like that. And uh, we'll be off. Friday and Saturday and we'll be picking up Latham, New York again on Sunday. Headed down to Huntsville. Continue on route. It's a beautiful looking morning out there, but cold. <laughs> Sun is shining. Sky is clear.
All right, we're just about at our delivery. I mean delivery. In one quarter mile, turn right. Pickup. Just about at our pickup. Let's see. This should be. This light should be Maxwell Avenue. Turn right here. Turn right. Let's see, it should be right down here on the left. I don't know why that front camera keeps shutting off, but Escalade Sports shipping entrance. That's me. Looks like I'm the only one here right now. Well, let's go in and see what the scoop is. Alright guys, so I showed up here at my pickup, Escalade Sports, in uh, Evansville, Indiana. And I got into the shipping area, which is a big, wide open area, lots of dock doors, and got checked in, and they couldn't find my order number. And I finally figured out, oh, you gotta be down the other end of the building. <laughs> so, I had to come down here and back in. It's just two dock doors right off the road. And, uh, well, the sun isn't so bad now, but when I was backing in, it was right in my mirrors, and it was going into, uh, the dock doors are recessed into the building, so really hard to see plenty of room though but it's kind of downhill there's ice on the ramp and uh, <laughs> it all worked out I guess but uh, yeah not the most difficult place I've ever backed into but it's hard to see with the Sun in your mirrors and you're backing into a recessed dock in the building it's all dark in there so it's hard to see anything well we got her done would have been a little bit different story if there was another truck here in the dock already but uh, I don't think they probably use this too much over here. I'm picking up some stuff. Uh, apparently it's for uh, Black Friday sales, so they kind of have it at the other end of the building or something. Anyway, we're getting loaded now. We're getting 21 pallets. It's like 14,000 pounds. He's probably got me just about loaded now. He's loading me really fast. So we should be out of here shortly. Yeah, we're 
just cruising along here on I-69. I decided to go this way. A little bit change of pace instead of heading over towards, uh, well, we would have had to go through Louisville and Cincinnati and Columbus. This way I go right up to Indianapolis and uh, get over to Columbus and go around the northwest side of Columbus and on up 71. We're going to uh, Wadsworth, Ohio, which is right outside of uh, Akron on 76. So we're going to head up there. We're going to stop in. If I get there early enough, it might take care of my air leak tonight. And uh, maybe we'll get a few more miles in after that. We'll see. It is warmed up now. We're up to 24 degrees. And the wind is not really blowing all that much. A little bit. A little bit out of the southeast, seems like. We well, got about 133 miles to Indianapolis. If everything goes good, we should be in Wadsworth by about 5.30 at the latest. Hopefully, because if, uh, if I just keep driving, I can make it there without having to take my 30-minute break, which would be good. I have to take, if I continue driving, I have to have my break by 5.45, so it should be okay. This way also because it's a lot flatter. <laughs> From Evansville over to uh, Louisville and then up to Cincinnati on 71, that's all up and down hills. They're not big hills, but still it's up and down hills all the way. A lot of the way, anyway. We're going to be pretty much flat all the way to Wadsworth. Some kind of some some little bit of rolling hills there on 71 up north of Columbus, but not bad at all. And the reason I'm I worry about the hills, not that I worry, but fuel economy. This way is uh, approximately 17 miles further going this way. Well, we should get better fuel mileage, and I believe there's a toll now at Louisville. I know one of them bridges, or all of them, I think, are toll bridges now. So we do save the toll. We just stopped here in the big rest area here on I-70. We are east of Indianapolis, in between Indianapolis and the Ohio State line on 70. Uh, yeah, I just talked to my mechanic. He's not going to be able to stay around today to look at my truck tonight. So we're going to go with the original plan. We're going to be there first thing for tomorrow morning. Yeah, he's just getting done work now. He doesn't have any more work for today. so. For him to hang around like four hours it's you know it's nothing for him to do so he's got to get to me in the morning and uh take it from there just take a little breather got out walked around the truck checked things out everything looks good so i don't think i'm going to do a 30 minute break i've only been here 10 minutes i'm going to uh head on up close to the shop, uh, to the TA there in Lodi, and 
think I might get some fuel there. Probably. I might fill up there and then uh, take a shower and then go over to the shop and be ready for first thing in the morning. But anyway, that's where we're at. Guys, we're just coming into Ohio. I did have the uh, bypass on the scale. Yeah, Ohio, find it here. Yep. So far, so good. Been a pretty good trip. Still got 211 miles to the shop. Like I said, we're going to stop. Stop, get some fuel at Lodi. And uh, take a shower, and then we'll go on over to the shop and park for the evening. Let's see, it is 2.32 p.m. Eastern Time. 28 degrees right here outside on the truck thermometer. Looks like we're going to be hitting the uh, outskirts of Columbus right about... Uh, quarter to four, so we should be in pretty good shape. We're going to pick up the outer loop and go up around to the northwest side of Columbus and back then over to uh, 71 and go north. We should be all right. Alrighty guys, I'm here in Lodi, Ohio. I'm at the TA truck stop. Uh, I stopped to get a shower. I was going to stop and get fuel here, but I decided against it. Uh, if I get fuel in Ohio, I'll get it tomorrow up in Kingsville. And if I don't do that, I may just wait. If I think I have enough, be close. I'll figure it out. I uh, might have enough to get over to Bingington, New York, and I'll fill up there at the TA, which is right near where my delivery is. So uh, 
we'll do that I'm just waiting now I'm on the uh, waiting list for a shower and uh, just waiting to get an email saying my shower is ready now anyway from here we're gonna head over to the shop which is only it's like eight or ten miles away from here so we'll get over there and park and uh, we'll be done for the day so it's a nice easy day today So, <laughs> all my batteries are dying. I'm gonna drop, get out here and drop my trailer. Well, might as well come with me, right? Yeah, so this is a little niche here that we put the trailer in. Uh, it could fit two trailers here. It's about it. It's about all you can get in here. Uh, see, it's just like a little, there's a building down there. And then it's got a little wide spot right here, a little niche on the side of the road. Anyway, let's get pulled over by the garage. This way we can end this day. All right, guys, we're done. I'm parked here at the shop. Actually, I'm pulled right up to the garage door, but uh, we're gonna call it a night. I do appreciate you uh, stopping in at the Trucker John Show. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it. Take care, guys. See you next time.